Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Donald Trump is officially the president-elect of the United States, the Electoral College having voted yesterday. Many of Donald Trump's critics, meanwhile, have also reached a milestone. They're officially hysterical, some having reached a diagnosable level of panic and overstatement. It isn't just that the other guy won. In their view, it's the end of a civilization itself, the beginning of a post-apocalyptic hellscape where Nazis fill the upper ranks of our government. Where'd they get that idea? Well, maybe from people like our next guest. Tariq Nasheed hosts a podcast, writes books and movies, has his own radio show. He's a robust presence on Twitter where, just this morning, he wrote this, quote, Trump has appointed to his cabinet people from the alt-right, a white supremacist sect that literally throws up Nazi salutes, hashtag never my president. Tariq joins us now. Tariq, thanks for coming on. So I looked at a list of the president-elect's cabinet appointments. Which one of them throws up Nazi salutes, literally, as you said? Well, no. Well, Steve Bannon, he's associated with that alt-right organization, which is really nothing more than a sect of white supremacy. And those alt-right people, they were in a federal building at the Ronald Reagan, Reagan building, throwing up Nazi salutes in the Steve Spencer, all of these, not Steve Spencer, but Richard Spencer, all of these guys are basically open white supremacists who practices Nazism. So, and, and Trump is associated with that, just like Reverend Wright was associated with Barack Obama, well, and you wait, people no, here wait, criticized wait him for that. You don't say he was associated, yeah. you said appointed people to his cabinet who mm -hmm. throw up Nazi salutes. Steve Bannon, by the way, is not in the cabinet. Has Steve Bannon thrown up a Nazi salute that you are aware of or can prove? But Steve, Steve Bannon is a part, and he was representing that whole alt-right movement. So if we're going to play Steve Bannon at this game, meeting? I mean, what does that. Steve Bannon have to do with that? Well, well, the same thing. He was associated with the people doing it. Just like how you guys associate me with Black Lives Matter, and I have nothing to do with it. Steve Bannon was representing, and he was associated with those alt-right people who are nothing more than white supremacists. And well, if we can is, go deeper than that, okay, and we can, if we go all, deeper than that, deep, with the, with the, with the Trump, deeper, if we go deep, we haven't gone deep enough, factual, um, if we Tucker. I, but I want to get factual, too, but well, the whole okay, campaign right. was run so, no, no, on, a, saying, on a white supremacist platform. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Here's, here's my point. You have a lot ahead, of venues. People listen to you. You've got 160,000 Twitter followers. You've written a bunch of books. People believe you. And people are worried about Trump, and they don't know what this administration is going to look like. And here you come out in public this morning and say he's appointed people to his cabinet who are Nazis, literally, to quote you, who are giving the Nazis salute. And that's not actually true. And you knew it wasn't true when you said it, and yet you're whipping people into a frenzy And it's not true when fear. you're saying it now. It's not true when you're saying it now because I didn't say that. And that's the problem with well, systematic white supremacy. You get to label people and tweet, say right? that they said things that they didn't say. No, you didn't read my tweet. No, you didn't okay. read my tweet. You just Trump put your own thing to it, Tucker, which people, is kind of something this, that you do. I Ask it. me what I said, and I'll be glad to answer that, Tucker. Here's I'll what be glad you wrote. To it, but don't, don't add morning. nothing else to it, though. I just want to jog your memory now, Tariq. Trump has yes. appointed people to You don't to have to. I know what I said. Right. I know White what I said, Tucker. Who literally throw Nazi salutes. And that's just not true. So my question is, isn't it irresponsible of you to say something that inflammatory that you know isn't true? Look, you may disagree with Trump, and that's fine. But he hasn't appointed Nazis no, no. to his cabinet. What you're saying isn't true. Sir, he's appointing a guy who's associated with the alt-right, and the alt-right, they are literally throwing up Nazi signs. Not only that, Donald Trump himself, he has disenfranchised and discriminated, discriminated against black people his whole career. Okay. So this is not something that I'm just reaching out of a bag. And there's other people associated with Trump in the cabinet who have practiced systematic right. racism for years. So I'm just not pulling anything out of a bag. Even well, in the, well, the I campaigns, just wonder, I mean, I black how people were getting beat up and were called racial names. So kind of I'm not pulling something out of thin okay. air, Tucker. Let me I'm not pulling anything out of thin air. Really quick questions. Go what ahead, do you sir. think if, if there are not, literally Nazis in the cabinet, what do you think Ben Carson, the who's going to be the HUD secretary thinks of that. Is he involved in that too? Well, just because, well, just because you get an individual black person and tokenize well, that black person, that? no matter how qualified he is, no matter how qualified a black person is, if you tokenize a black person and put him in mm -hmm. a system of white supremacy, that doesn't negate the system of white supremacy. You just okay. put a black person as the face of white supremacy. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. So I, I, I'd want to ask you about some stuff that you've written because I think it's important for viewers to know who you are, okay, because people yes. take you seriously. Now, you are, in addition to a lot of other things, the author of a number of books on dating. One of them is called The Art of Macking. Yes. You've written a couple others. And I yes. just want to read you, I was reading it today, it's an interesting book, 
Chapter 6, Guaranteed Ways to Get Sex from Women. And I'm quoting you. In this chapter, mm -hmm. I will give some tried and proven techniques that will help you talk a woman into giving it up. I will also offer you precise rebuttals to every objection a woman may have to giving it up. You say this, the number one lame thing men say to get sex, I love you. You describe that as the bold lie approach. And then you say this, if a woman isn't ready for sex, you quote, one, question her maturity, two, minimize the significance of sex, and three, tell her what she wants to hear. Now, you're advocating lying in order to take advantage of women sexually. This is in your book. I'm not misquoting it. Why should we believe anything that you say if you're counseling people to say, I love you, and lie to women in order to get them in bed? Tucker, the fact that you're this desperate to get one of my books, which is a book on satire, it's a tongue-in-cheek book. The book was written in a comedic fashion. And uh -huh. the fact that you're getting that to try to justify um, <laughs> disenfranchising me, <laughs> to try to um, minimize the significance of what I, I do in the so system, funny, that's a, I that's you were so cheap, go, though, I was Tucker. just joking, Ruth. Yeah, so Tucker, actually, I read about the Don't be a sucker, Tucker. Okay. Tucker, don't be a sucker, the, Tucker. Okay, so that's, here's an interview you gave to Esquire. That's so cheap, Tucker. It's so cheap, cheap, Tucker. Question. You said Tucker, this I'm quote. talking about systematic white supremacy, and uh -huh. you're trying to discredit me by getting a quote from my book, no. which is tongue in cheek, which is about relationships. A lot of the book well, is I satire, it's comedic, and that's I think so you're being cheap, Tucker. But I'm not now. surprised. And, and let, let I'm let not surprised, say, Tucker. Let me, let me just say, I don't think that you're being tongue in cheek, and the scores of interviews you did, and the two follow up books you wrote on this exact book subject, is. How to Lie to Women. The, the, the book has so humor. many comedic but I thought you were sections say in that. it, but, that, that, but I, I don't get them. But it raises the question Go ahead, are you being tongue in cheek now with all this race war stuff you're constantly talking about? He's a white supremacist, they're Nazis. I'm not, because white supremacy oh, is not, not. tongue-in-cheek. Okay, we live so in a system, we live in a system of white supremacy, and white supremacy this? is not a joke. White supremacy okay. is not a joke. We live in a system that's no, but, dominated in all areas of activity but, of white supremacy. So I take that very seriously, sir. So you're, but, but you're making specific allegations that are untrue, and you know that they're untrue, because you're not, you're not stupid. I'm not. You know exactly what you're I'm doing. I'm not. I'm not. You're and trying you're to put words in my mouth, but I'm not shocked. And that's fine, but does it occur to you, it's very simple and last question, does it occur to you that people believe you and that you increase the temperature of race hatred in this country and that long term that might lead to some really bad things. Do you feel responsible for that? You mean like black people are. getting harmed in all areas of activity, like black people, well, people getting shot legally and, and executed legally? Violence. What have you done to, what, Tucker, what have you done to replace the system of white I'm supremacy with the system of justice? I'm calling you out for lying. That's what, what have I do. That's you my contribution today. For replacing, okay, Tucker. Yeah. Tariq, I appreciate it.